What, guys, I'm going to leave you on the table yes. and I'm going across to talk about some leadership with Maxine Atan, who is the owner of Maxine Atan Consulting uh, Leadership, as well as the author of Lead Your Team to Win. Yeah. Yeah, good good stuff, good stuff. Good morning, Maxine. Hi, Lisa. How Thanks. are you doing? I'm good. Thanks a lot for having me on this morning. We just teased it before the break because we were talking about, you know, leadership and sometimes to be a good leader, sometimes you have to be a good follower. Yes. Tell us about that. Well, that's exactly what we're going to be discussing, at least one of the topics we're going to be discussing in our upcoming seminar on the 4th of April, 2019. Mm -hmm. we, the topic of the seminar is um, the paradox of leadership. And everybody who's been in leadership, they've been faced with situations that you've just described so mm -hmm. adequately. Um, how, how am I supposed to lead a team? And at the same time, how am I supposed to follow the team? Mm -hmm. It sort of spins the whole idea of leadership on its head. And yet, we have seen what happens when leaders don't follow their teams as part of their leadership routine. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, um, to be able to follow, it, it really speaks to uh, your separation from your ego. Because many leaders, you're laughing, but <laughs> you know what I'm saying. No, it's it's true. Yes, I'm laughing you because know? you're absolutely spot on. <laughs> yeah. Because part of, and that is where the paradoxical nature of leadership comes in. Because part of what makes us step into the role of leadership is the fact that our egos tell us we can do it, which mm -hmm. is a good thing. And what trips us up as leaders is when that ego becomes overinflated and says, I am the only one who can do mm -hmm. it. And I'm entitled, you know, yes. that sense of entitlement. Of because I am in charge, because I have the position of CEO, MD, or whatever, I am entitled to these things, the, the best park, the best yes. corner office, and these things become the trapping yes. as opposed to taking the team forward. Yes, and mm -hmm. to just, just to build on that point a little bit more, one of the things is that we are given those things as leaders, setting up another paradox for us, because it's not only our sense of entitlement, but a company will say, this is what I g I'm given the CEO in yeah. terms of a vehicle versus what I'm given maybe the HR manager in yes. terms of a vehicle. Yeah. So we so we also given that and then it's our role. How do we manage that mm -hmm. without a sense of entitlement, without mm -hmm. playing into the ego? Yeah. And that's a huge job. Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> because the trappings could really trap you. Eh? Yeah, they're beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> and you get accustomed to all the, you know, the first class travel and everyone's running around. You have people doing things yeah. for you and, and without losing sight of the goal which is to take the team forward yes. yeah um, in terms of you now working with people how do you manage how do you help people to manage that so in in terms of my career I am an executive coach and I'm an organizational development consultant so coaching for me really begins with building awareness and assisting um, the coachee to see and ground themselves in terms of who they really are ambition aside it's about it starts with who am I and once it is that we develop that confidence, then the trappings become less important mm -hmm. because it's really about leading with intentionality. Mm -hmm. So what is your intention for being a leader? What is your motive in making a decision? What is your motive in doing something? I like to talk about transformational leadership. Oh, yes. Yes. So when you step into a space as a leader, you change the whole ethos, the whole yes. ecosystem around you. Yes. And it's not just about you, but yes. about every single person yeah. in that space. Because yes. everyone has a leader in them. Oh, yes. You know, and people Definitely. come up with ideas and they, they must be operating in a space that they feel comfortable to say, hey, why can't we do this? Let's yes. do that. Let's try this. Yes. You know? and, yeah. and I think that, I mean, that description is so beautiful because, I mean, it is, it is, um, it embodies a lot of theories that we learn about. Mm -hmm. So the whole idea of systems theory that we are all connected, the whole idea that the sum of us is greater than, you know, the sum of us is greater than just all of us added together. Yeah. And that we as an entity moving in one direction is much bigger than we as five people moving in one direction. Yes. Yeah. And when you, so I mean, I love your description of it because it just breaks down the theory so yeah. elegantly. Yeah. So thanks I live for that. It. I yeah. live it. <laughs> when you use it, remember where you got it from. <laughs> I'll think about it. <laughs> and uh, you know, and as some of us may have seen the video of the, the geese as they fly. Yeah and they fly and then someone comes from the back yes. and takes the front yes. so they rotate leadership which obviously may not be um, applicable in every situation yes. but certainly in the mind you can take ideas from the flow exactly to help you and that is forward. exactly how i define leadership it is about the harnessing of the creative the creativity and the intelligence of the people in our team because as leaders that's what we are required to do the assumption is that we have a group of people with us and they are all creative, they are all intelligent and our role as leaders is how do we tap into that and bring it out 
so that they, like the geese, can yeah. actually fly in front of the team at time, from That's time right. to time. Yes. So tell us once again when the event is and uh, will the books be available at the event and are they available now? Yes, yeah, so the books are available on Amazon, of course, and locally at Nigel Arakan Booksellers. Yeah. And of course, well, I always have copies. Yeah. The event is happening on the 4th of April, 2019. It's at the Guardian Atrium at West Moorings. That is just in Guardian Life Building. Mm -hmm. And of course, Guardian, we're happy to have them on board as a sponsor for the event. The event is a, a breakfast seminar. Um, we have two, we have one international speaker, Judith Gale. We mm -hmm. have one regional speaker, Carrigan Roach, and you might be familiar yes, with that of name. Course, yeah. And of course, I'll be speaking as well. It's what we really try to do is co-create an experience where it's not a, just a presenter giving information. We invite the member, you invite the audience to build the experience with us by sharing their own experiences, explaining what they did, how they did it, and we have a panel discussion where people can bring all their information to us. Wonderful, that sounds very exciting. And it's in April, so I know we're gonna hear about it again. Oh yes, I Thank you so. so much, Maxine, so Atom. May I just give some contact information? Yes, very quickly. So mm -hmm. if you want to contact us, you can contact us at 343-2160, send us an email at admin, dot my virtual office tt at gmail dot com. Of course you could follow me on Facebook, Maxine Atong, or lead your team to win and I'm on LinkedIn. All so right, this is lovely to see you. you Thanks too. a lot. Wonderful, yeah. wonderful to have you.